Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Naiva and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am a certified Pilates mat and performance instructor. And this is my beginner series. This is perfect for anyone who is brand new to Pilates. I'm over here giving you guys these little bite-sized classes that you can do from the comfort of your home. So this is day four and we are working on our arms. You guys, I love doing arms and Pilates. I am one of those people I am not really the gym girly that picks up the weights <laughs> at the gym but I love doing arms in Pilates. And this class that we're doing today, we don't need any equipment, okay? So no dumbbells, nothing like that. Just yourself and your mat. And honestly, we're gonna be on the ground the whole time, which is amazing because we're working on the body. We don't need to use our little body for this right now. So if you're ready, you're gonna join me on the mat. Also you guys, this is our final day of the beginner series. I am so proud of you guys. You guys came such a long way. Alright guys, so we're coming here onto the mat. We're going to find a high kneeling position. Your option, you can also come down to a low kneeling if that is too much on your knees. And if it's still too much on your knees, you can always come down to sit right here in your booty. Totally fine. It's totally doable for anyone, right? Alright, so I'm going to come to a high kneeling position for this. So we're going to sit up nice and tall, we'll kneel nice and tall. And we're just going to have our arms nice and wide. We're going to start with something called hugging a tree. So you want to really round those arms. You want to make sure that you can see your hands in your peripheral, right? So you don't want to be too far back. And you don't want to be too far forward. So nice and rounded. Also, I want you to think about ripping the mat in half with your knees, right? So you have your knees planted into the mat. I want you to think about ripping that mat in half, right? So really still engaging those loops a bit here. So arms are nice and wide. We're going to go ahead and hug a tree. There you go. So we're going to round our arms. And then open all the way up. So get, again, round the arms and open. Anytime I teach this in class, I'm always like, what is your favorite tree? And I'm like, the only tree I know is a maple tree. So I'm hugging a maple tree. <laughs> there we go. Open those arms and round. So good. Now I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, okay, how are we going to be working our arms? We have no weights. How does this work? You wait and see. <laughs> there you go. Hug a tree. And open, so good. Again, round those arms. Nice and tall, bring that belly button to the spine. Again, round the arms. The one thing I do love about Pilates is that you can literally do this workout and like watch TV. Well, in you guys' case, I guess you guys kind of are watching TV, you're watching YouTube, you're watching me, and we're working out together. <laughs> Again, round those arms. So since I am, we're not using equipment here, I am gonna keep you guys a little bit longer in all of the exercises. But that's great. Nice slow burn. There you go, round those arms. And breathe, so good. Can you give me four more just like that? Round those arms. Yes, so good, here we go. Get three more. Excellent. You have two more. So good. And when we're gonna hold that tree, this time we're gonna lift it up. Woo! And bring it down. Now we're gonna start to really fill in those shoulders. Oh my gosh, so good. Excellent, again. Reach your arms up. And down. Excellent, so good. This reminds me of ballet class. So if you guys don't know, I'm a professional dancer as well. I've danced my entire life. And yeah, this just brings me back to being at the ballet bar, <laughs> which I love. You guys know that Joseph Pilates, you know, when he came to New York, a lot of his students were professional dancers. So, makes sense. There you go, raise those arms up and down. So even though we're lifting our arms up, I want you to make sure you keep your shoulders not lifted up towards your ears. You wanna still press them away from your ears as you lift the arms up, right? They are gonna lift just a little bit just because of how our bodies are built, but you don't wanna hunch up, right? You wanna still keep them, you know, a little bit down. Breathe, are we feeling it? <laughs> Give me two more, so good. Excellent, we got one more. Arms right in front of you, keep the elbows nice and high. Bring the arms in, oh, so good. I like to tell people, once you finish this, you can literally lift your own suitcase overhead on the plane. Like, you don't need any help. <laughs> so good, bring those arms in towards your chest, elbows nice and high. Again, bring those arms in. Excellent. Again, keep those shoulders down. So good. Keep breathing. 
Excellent. Amazing. Can you give me four more here? Excellent. There we go. You have three. We'll keep those elbows nice and high. Yes. You got two more shoulders out. So good. And one more. And relax. Oh my God. My shoulders are on fire. All right. So. Again, still feel sitting up nice and tall. Shake those arms out. We're going to reach your arms all the way forward. We're going into a bicep curl. Hill. Keeping the elbows nice and high. We're going to bend at the elbow and extend. There we go. Bend at the elbow and extend. Remember, if you're in this high kneeling and this is too much, you can always come down to your booty. <laughs> and then you can always sit down as well. Yes. I think I'm going to come back up. <laughs> there we go. Bend at the elbow. Extend the arms. Breathe. Keep those shoulders out. Excellent, so good. Amazing. Oh, this is burning so much. Like, whew. can you give me two more? You guys are doing so good, so strong. Excellent. One more. We're gonna hold them in here. Little pulse, little pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So from here, we're gonna bring our hands to our hips here. We're gonna take a little break from our upper body for a second. We're gonna go ahead and find this squat here, this kneeling squat. So we're gonna flare those sit bones back. We're gonna sit back towards our heels without actually having our booty touch our heels and we're gonna come all the way up. So if you are not low kneeling or sitting down, just for this moment, you can come up to your knees if that works for you. Again, sit the sit bones back. And then if you guys do this little side profile here, Right? So again, my booty is not touching my heels, but I'm flaring the sits bones as I sit the booty back. Again, reach it back. And up, so good. And back. <laughs> and up, I'm to my front. <laughs> sit it back. And up, so good. There we go. Can you give me two more? Woo! Excellent. This time we go back. I want you to reach your arms forward. Draw those elbows to come in. Yes. Again, reach your arms forward. Draw those elbows. And you want to make sure you keep those elbows nice and close to your side. You want to feel them against, you know, the side of your ribs here, right? So you want to glide them against your body. Just the thing about keeping your elbows close to your body, right? You don't want to have them out here, right? So again, reach your arms forward. Slide those elbows against your body. Reach on forward, breathe. Reach those elbows back and squeeze the glutes as you come up. Yes. Excellent. Squeeze the glutes as you come up. So good. Woo. Amazing. Can you give me two more just like that? Excellent. One more. We're going to sit the sit bones back. We're going to sweep the arms back here. We're going to take a little pulse here of the arms. Palms are facing up. Whew. Get them ready for a little bit of triceps here. For six, for five, for four, three, two, and one. Come on, up, shake it out. Whew. How are you doing? All right, so we're gonna go into some tricep push-ups, but I love the way these Pilates push-ups be push up in. Okay, so we're gonna turn to our side here. We're gonna come to our hands and knees. Okay, you're gonna think about again this underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. Really make sure you're Kind of center here, and we're gonna reach that right leg back. So I want you to corkscrew your hands into the mat. We're gonna go down into our tricep push up. We're gonna bring our elbows close to our side again. That back leg is gonna come up just a little bit, and we're gonna reach all the way down towards the mat and push away from that. Come back up. There we go. Reach it down. So the king, you need four more just like that. You got four. Ugh. Excellent. You have three. So good. You have two more. Excellent. <laughs> One more. And up, bring that leg back in. Can we go back into a child's pose here? Oh, stretch the arms. So good. Come all the way up, shake it out. Bring it on the other side. Right away. So now we're reaching that left leg back. Okay? Corks with the hands into the mat. All right, and we're gonna go down again. Reach it down. And up, so good. Reach it down. And up, give me four more. Reach it down. 
So then you have three more. Move your shoulder back. Yes. Woo. You got two more. Oh, so strong. Woo. One more. Uh, so good. Bring that leg in. Take a nice little child's pose. Woo. So good. Lift the palms up. Amazing. All right. We got one more thing. Can we do it? We can do it. I, 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 I trust. I believe in us, okay? <laughs> we're almost there, you guys. All right, we're gonna go ahead. We're on our booty here. Okay, we're gonna have our hands on the mat here. We're going for our tricep dips. This is the last thing I promise you. Fingertips are pointing towards the front, right? So wherever you're facing, your fingertips are pointing towards where your feet are. Your feet are planted in the ground, soles of the feet. You're gonna push up, bring yourself up. Yeah, may have to switch a little bit forward. Here, we're gonna drop down, bend the elbows. Come all the way up. Yes. Again, bend the elbows. Come all the way up. You want to make sure your elbows are pointed back. Yep, so fingertips forward. Push it back. Woo! Oh, I hate these. <laughs> and up so good. Can you give me four more? Uh, four more. Almost there. Yes. Three more. Woo! Two more. Oh, uh, we got one more. One more. Oh, you guys, so good. Can we go ahead and just stretch those arms a little bit here? I am so proud of you guys. Like, literally, I I prefer this. This is just me. I prefer this over looking like super heavy weights, you guys. Um, and you guys will know, like, in flights, if you do anything with arms, with equipment, most times, like, dumbbells, like, we start off pretty light. You can go a little bit higher, but that two, three pound, Okay, <laughs> we'll humble you. <laughs> Which I absolutely love. Like, I love a little, little two, three pounds. And of course, like, you know, we build that strength and we can lift up the eight and ten pounds and all that stuff. But I love that, you know, you don't have to just go right away and pick up like a heavy weight just to work your arms. You can do this with no equipment. So, this is perfect if you're traveling somewhere and obviously you don't want to carry dumbbells with you <laughs> on the plane or anywhere. So, this is perfect. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. this Day four of the beginner series of Swiss Arms. And yeah, I'm so proud of you guys. Um, if this was your first time doing Pilates with me, I am so proud of you guys. You guys killed that. This was our last day, our final day of the beginner series. So give yourselves a round of applause. You guys completed four classes. So we did core for day one. We did glutes for day two, we did posture for day three, and now arms for day four, you guys. If you guys want some more full body workouts, I have more videos coming to my YouTube channel. So I hope to see you guys on the map. And make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. All right? And I'll see you guys in another video.